Okay, continuity. I'll give you the definition first. So maybe you want to jot this down. Continuity. Um, of course, our informal definition I think is probably best. You can draw the thing and never lift up your pen. Okay, but that won't do for proving that something is continuous. So here is the definition. Um, to be able to draw something from left to right um, and never pick up your pen, you have to be able to go to a certain value, right? from the left hand side and you should be able to find that that's the same as going to that same value from the right hand side because otherwise like you'd have to have picked up your pen. I should be able to go from both directions and get the same thing. Um, uh, yep, so that's fine. So please note by the way that minus sign it attaches to the A not to, I haven't drawn it very well. I'll draw it a bit lower. There we go. So it means Go toward that number A from the left, go toward that number A from the right. There's one more thing that you need, <coughs> excuse me, which is for the actual spot at A to exist and be the same, okay? So I'll give you an example that, that breaks that very simply. If I ask you to graph this, before you do any kind of manipulation, you can see that X can't be zero. Right, because then you get zero divided by zero and the universe explodes. Okay, so I can say that x can't equal zero, but once I recognize that, I can simplify. So, what does this thing look like? It's the straight line y equals x, but it's got a hole punched in it, right? Um, literally, a hole punched in it. So, this is not continuous. Because even though when you come from the left to so say the origin, you go towards zero. When you come from the right, you go towards zero, but right at that actual spot, it breaks down, right? So this is equal to this, but it doesn't equal to this because it doesn't even exist, okay? Um, you can also show, for instance, for a function like say, y equals one on x, right? Um, how can I prove that this is not continuous and not just, um, not just look at a drawing and say, because the drawing says so? I would say the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 on x is going to be positive infinity. All right? um, but only when you come from a particular direction. Because if you come from a negative direction, you have got a positive number divided by a negative. Divided by really small negatives, but they're still negative. And what we were talking about with regions before, you won't get positive infinity, you'll get negative infinity. It only happens when you're coming from the right hand side because then you've got a positive divided by a positive. Alternatively, if you divide, sorry, if you approach from the other side, you don't go to the same thing. You go to a negative value. So therefore, I can say since one limit is not equal to the other limit, therefore, 1 over x is not continuous. Now, I want to make one more um, point on this, and then really that's, I probably said too much, obviously, it's not, it's not as, um, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Do you notice, I can't just pick random values of, of A, right? For example, if I did this whole thing all over again, and said, hey, let's think about what happens when you're going towards 2, the value 2. If you come from the right-hand side, what do you approach? And the answer is you approach a half. If you come from the left hand side, guess what? You're still going towards a half. So these two are equal. It's fine. Um, 1 over x is not discontinuous everywhere. It's only discontinuous at particular places, right? So if you're supposed to prove that something is discontinuous, um, you have to know where to look. And they'll give you an easy function where it's fairly straightforward, okay? Um, but, you know, if I changed it to this, Testing at zero is no point, right? Because I just shifted it five units to the left. So then you wouldn't test at zero, you'd test at negative five. Okay, does that make sense?